over the place and across the globe too. Thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in to my 2741st edition of Short Term Trading Live with Oscar Carboni. Ah, it's getting interesting out there, traders. You know, I tell you this in every video before we talk about what's going to happen tomorrow with our magic crystal ball that Omni provides. We have to remind you that there's a lot of risk involved in this game and you must put your stops in before you begin to trade, especially in the futures and the options and in anything, crypto, you name it. Put your stops in first before you get into a trade and this way, even if a disaster happens, it doesn't wipe out your account. Now let's get moving. Video number 2741 coming at you on a Wednesday night for trading Thursday, April 25th, 2024. Ah, so. You know what? This is going to have to be all about the charts. That's what this video is going to have to be about. Just remember that Omni has been firing on all eight cylinders. I'm going to say all 12 cylinders this month. The beginning of the month, Omni came out and said, hey, the top is in on the day after the highest price S&P ever traded came out. We came out with a video that the market would drop and it dropped. And on the lowest day that it dropped, we came out with a video and said, that's it. It looks like the legs are coming. And it went back up, and now the Omni's got another signal for us, and I want to show you that in the charts. Omni has been right, 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 so pay attention to this. Get ready, listen to the chart segment. Let's see if Omni calls another great, fantastic trade for us for the rest of April. So I'll show you that in the charts in just a moment. Sidelines, Bitcoin's giving another signal. Let me show you that. Bitcoin, crypto fans, if you're trading Ethereum, crypto, usually if you're trading Ethereum or Bitcoin, you know Solana is going to be with it and all the other, almost all the other altcoins will follow. The big ones that you want to follow, right? Bitcoin, Solana, Ethereum. So we'll talk about Bitcoin in tonight's video. And then, you know, in my trading room, for a few months, we joked about Coco. Oh, ha, ha, look at Coco. It's above 3,000. Oh, ha, ha, look at Coco. It's 3,500. And all of a sudden, it's $12,000 per ton. $12,000 per ton. Okay. I used to be in the coffee sugar cocoa pit. One of my badges allowed me to trade Coco. It was not $12,000 then. <laughs> it doesn't belong. Well, I shouldn't say that. It's never been up here. What happens with Coco is it's only got a few producers and they all are basically in the same part of the world. And once it started to get on the run, the producers went, because they're literally in just the Ivory Coast and Ghana, I think, is about the only places that we kind of count on for coffee. The Ivory Coast, Coco as well, I should say, and especially Coco. And I'll tell you what, they went, hmm, Mr. Foreman next door to me in competition with me. You see the price of cocoa that we both grow? Well, it went up $1,000. Why don't you grow less? I'll grow less. And poof, everybody grew less this year and they got it on the run. There is no taking it back. There's no substitute to grow cocoa plants anywhere else and you can't get them done quickly anyway. So cocoa's not coming back. They did it. Congratulations to you guys who, who somehow made money on that. They've got cocoa in the stratosphere and it can't come back right now. There is no supply to take it back. Synthetic may come up, yes. But for now, cocoa, if you need it, $12,000 a ton. Well, there's something else that, you know, the same thing started to happen. I've been joking about it for the last month or so. Well, stop joking before we miss this one too. Cocoa and copper, let me show you that. So we're going to go right to the chart segment right now. I just want to remind you, hey, by the way, Omnicamp is coming into town. You are going to love what happens, I promise you. Get to the Omni Mansion, have some food, get a good night's rest. We will see each other Friday morning, and I promise you are going to love this. For everybody else, keep your emotions out of this damn game. Do not do anything crazy like use your emotions to make decisions. One of the best things you can do to keep your decisions at bay is to say this mantra with me that I'm about to say, because you must know what it is. Then after that, we're going to go look at some charts. Are you with me? One, two, three. Stops are in. Emotions are out. Rock and roll traders now. Let's go look at some charts.
Trade is the E-mini S&P. Very interesting how analysis can work and how well the Omni is firing on all 12 cylinders this month. So the S&P rallies up, rallies up, and sets an all-time forever high on this day of 53.33 and a half. It's the highest price S&P has ever traded. The very next evening, after doing the analysis on this evening, we did a video and said a down segment is going to begin. That video was posted on 4-2, the day after the high was made. And of course, I'll leave the link for that video below this. And okay, so the highest high ever made, my Omni says, okay, Oscar, tell everyone that we're going to drop. Since that, this is what happened. I mean, are you kidding me? Come on now. Find somebody else that's capable of that, kids, the very next day. But that's not all. Watch this. It dropped to here. Well, when it got to here, I did my analysis, and guess what we did? We did a video. I'll leave the link underneath that stated, looks like the market has now gained its legs. So the high was put in. We recognized the down segment was going to take place. That's what you got. At that moment, we said, the Omni said, uh-oh. Looks like its legs are coming in, and that is what happens next. Are you kidding me? Are you just kidding me? All right, all right, so now we're here, and the calls have been fantastic, and here's why I wanted you to watch this segment. If we were right at the exact spot for the drop to take place, and we were right for the exact rally to take place, or the slight recovery, well, then I want to tell you about this. Pay attention. The Omni goes neutral as of the close on Wednesday. Boom! Omni goes neutral. So, don't know what the Omni's thinking of, but I think the Omni's thinking we might head back down again. So, it was right about saying, get ready for downside. It was right about saying, get ready for the upside. Now it's saying, hold off for one day. Stop buying. Okay, so we'll hold off. The Omni kind of went neutral. Some are pointing up, some are pointing down, and we're going to take that as a neutral. How about that for a set of technical analysis, kids, huh? Is that not insane? Go Omni, go. So, Bitcoin fans, this is what I wanted to show you next. A few days back in a video, of course, the link will be below today's video, we gave you a signal and said it looks like now we've got a signal in Bitcoin, and it may want to start to go up. We are immediately back on the sidelines. It went up a little bit. This puts us back on the sidelines. You've got an actual convergence of that average and this average, the exact spot, and Bitcoin closed just below it on Wednesday. We're on the sidelines, kids. I'm not going near that. We expect upside, of course, for our target, but not every day, right? We're day traders. Nothing goes straight up. We are on the sidelines in Bitcoin. And now look at this craziness. Coco, I kid you not, we were joking about Coco when it went here because, hey, it went from like the couple thousand area all the way to three, four, five thousand. We were like, oh my goodness, what is going on? But we just joked about it and ha ha ha. And then we went, oh look, it's 6,000. Oh look, it's 10,000. Oh look, it's 12,000. Are you kidding me with this thing? It's out of control. There is no taking it back at this point. You know what I mean? Where are you going to get it from? You cocoa growers, boy, you got that one on the run. Imagine growing something on your farm that's $12,000 a ton. <laughs> it's better than gold. Oh, I, I wrecked that one on you kids, but we can fix that. All right, Dr. Copper. Now, this is starting to do the same thing. It had this really long sideways nothingness, but Dr. Copper has gone from the threes to the fours and starting to head towards the fives. This is dollars that copper is worth. You know, that's getting expensive, kids. So copper is starting to run. Keep your eyes on that. I don't know that it's going to turn into a cocoa, but keep your eyes on copper because it's starting to show decent by the pullback signals. I hope these charts help. I know if you join me at livewithoscar.com in my free training room, that will help you. Make sure you join me there and like and share these videos. Thank you so much.